Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue by launching the game GTA 5. You got an error. Steam failed to initialize. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, let's start the basic fixes. Launch the Steam or the Epic Games Launcher, whichever client you have. Then go to the library. Over here, you need to right click on your game and go to the properties. Under install files, choose the option verify integrity of the game files. Same thing you need to do with the Epic Games Launcher. If this fails to work out, in next step, I highly recommend to do a reinstallation of your client. If you are using Steam Epic Games Launcher, first of all, go ahead and uninstall it. After uninstalling, restart your PC and only then reinstall the Steam or Epic Games Launcher. Now, if this simple fix doesn't help you fix out the issue, let's proceed with the next step. In next step, if you are using a Steam Deck, in Steam Deck, you will find the option of game and right in the game, you need to go to the compatibility settings. Right in the compatibility settings, you need to check mark the option, force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool and then from the drop down list, you need to choose the option Proton 9.0-4. After you have done so, close it and try to relaunch the game and the issue with Steam Deck will be completely fixed. Now if this failed to work out, let's proceed to the next step. You need to download a tool with the name Goldbug Emulator. Click on the latest build to download the latest file of the Goldbug into your PC. Once it is downloaded, open the folder. Now right in the folder, you will find two files, steam underscore api.dll and steam underscore api64.dll. You need to copy both the files and you need to open the game directory. Again, if you are using steam, go to the library, right click, click on manage and here you will find the option of browse local file. Click on it to browse the game files. At my end, the game is installed in this PC, F drive, Rockstar games and here is GTA 5. Open the game directory, right click and paste the files. Once both the files are pasted, relaunch the game and the issue will be completely fixed. So that's all about it friends. If the video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.